tonight, boxing out of the blue corner. This man wears the blue trunks. He tipped the scale 76.02 kilograms, holding a perfect professional record. 12 fights, 12 wins, seven big wins coming by way of knockout. He's trained by Tony Del Vecchio, boxers out of the Bondi Boxing Club and Mac the Knife Global. Ladies and gentlemen from North Narrabeen, New South Wales, let's make some noise and welcome Mateo El Tijuanero Tapia. When the action gets underway, your referee is John Couchy. Okay, boys. Okay, boys, you know what I'm doing? Hold me tight. I'm going to take your hand there. When I say break or stop, you must do that. In case of a knockdown, then the box you call the truth corner until I say so. Protect yourself at all times. Bad gloves, and let's get it on, boys. This one for the vacant WBA Oceana super middleweight title. They have done it before. On that occasion, Tapia was dominant. A points victory, Quinlan says. Okay, A different story this time okay. around. Tapia believes a statement will be made. Box! Definitely not 10 centimetres taller. No, I'm not sure about that. Maybe a reach advantage for Tapia. We saw that last time around. He was able to use that reach and work a lot harder than Reynold Quinlan. Does look in good condition, though, Quinlan. Well, I know Reynold will be in good condition. He's got Terry Lewis in his corner. Terry trained me for a lot of my um, fights at the end of my career. He's a very, very good trainer and gets you superbly fit. And jab to the body from Tapia. This is where Quinlan got caught a lot last time around, just watching and waiting, wearing shots and not responding at times. Tapia presses forward. Good combination. Meaningful shots as well in the opening rounds. And again in the preparation for tonight, Tapia has done countless rounds with Tim Zhu. And that is good sparring. You can't get better than that. Wild shots from Quinlan. Body shot wasn't bad off the back of the big left hook. Yeah, the right to the body landed. Tapia just watching Reynolds come towards him. Picks him off with a little jab there. Quinlan pressing forward again, but not throwing much. Not making it. Overextended with the jab there. And Tapia didn't oh. respond. Quinlan coming forward, but again, not punchy when he does. Yeah, Quinlan's backing him up the ropes and just letting him get off him very, very easily. He's got to throw ones and twos, not just the jab. The jab lets you off the ropes all day. And he's following the cross. He just cut him off then. That's best. He's got to cut him off. He's got to punch him bunches, not ones. Quinlan threw a couple of shots then, but again, not much getting through. A good body shot it was from Tapia, a long one with the right hand. Quinlan really worried about what's coming back when he advanced. Jabbing Tapia. Really measured performance from Tapia in the opening round. A really hard round. Yeah, they both can throw many punches, and they're both made in some years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
a great deal coming from either of these fighters in the first three minutes. Two have got some good start to count. On the 10, we've got the two. Cross to the body. Bring your leg. Bring your arm. Bring your right leg. Bring your right leg. Bring your right leg. Bring your right a pause between first three, first three put them together. Pause, pause shot to where you're at. All right, easy one. Easy one. Tony Delvecchio in the corner of Matteo Tapia. He's already had a winner with Lynn Sandstrom in the opening bouts on the card. Congratulations to Lynn. Good start for Bondi Boxing. And they've got another fighter in the next as well. The Scorpion, former world champion Sakio Bicker, takes on Sam Solomon in our next bout. Right now, Matteo Tapia and Reynold Quinlan. Tapia undefeated in 12. Quinlan, only once knocked out Daniel Giel. So he has been at the absolute pinnacle. Good. Nice counter kind of shots. Yeah. Tap here to the body. And he's looking for openings now is Matteo Tapia. Quinlan stalking, but just faints and then doesn't throw. And he seems to be in the position to do so. Yeah, he's just waiting too long, Ben. He's doing all the hard work, he's backing the guy up, he's making him move, he's making him use the whole ring, but he's not cutting him off, he's not bringing him onto any punches. Good. Body shot again with the right hand from Tapia. Really good left hook from Matteo Tapia. He's working. Sure. So Charlie will have Latrell and Cody. Full house in here already, just about at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre. Just got here early to watch this stacked undercard. Plenty of big names in the crowd as well from the sporting community. We'll be touching base with plenty of those through the course. Back, the band Mundine is here. Lucas, Big Daddy Brown, Paul Gallen. The two of them will be finding each other. April 21 on main event. Can't wait for that heavyweight yep. showdown. You can go pull through if you can. I'll have a chat with the pair of them a little later on. So looking forward to seeing how their preparation go. go. is going exactly three weeks out from that massive heavyweight fight that you'll see on Thank main you. event. Thank just that we do it when they need to. <laughs> and a hush over the crowd at the moment. This one's tense between Tapia and Quinlan. We thought that Tapia would charge into this fight, try and make that statement at the moment. He's trading a little bit with Reynold Quinlan, but he's on the move yep. a lot. Do you want replays as well as Cody and Luttrell? Go back, come on. Okay, just Same Cody with Reynold, he's hunting a lot. He's going to go to the body first. It'll come from Charlie. Lost out a jab and finished with a nice right hand. What up? Charlie, check. This is what's happening backstage here at the Newcastle Entertainment Centre. Dennis Hogan's arrived. Looking good too in his suit. I heard a few of the boys whispering that he was meditating for a couple of hours today and really relaxed, getting ready for this massive event. Just having a look, I think that his nose was damaged in the build-up to this fight. Just prevented him from sparring for a little while. He has been talking about how crooked it is all week, but he looks very relaxed and he has been there and done this before. Latrell Mitchell is here, Cody Walker as well, and... One of the promotional team, Matt Rose, at ringside. 
watching Reynold Quinlan against Matteo Tapia. Reynolds just been waiting too long, Ben. He's got to like he's got you, know, you cut the ring off or you're following him around. You've got to you got to throw some punches. Take a risk. He's got him. He's a bigger puncher. He's got to take a risk. Ten doesn't have to hit. What do you think it is, Jeff? Is he just worried about what's going to come back? Very, very tentative. You know, like I said, every time um, Pep is moving one way for the whole fight. All he's doing is step across, put that back foot uh, across to the right and bring his right hand over Quinlan and then do something after it. But no, he's just uh, content trying to hit him with a jab, taking him back, trying to hit him with a jab. Somebody gets to that rope, you throw that right hand, left hook, or right to the chest, left hook, and go to the body. He's just there, very, very Kennedy. What would you be saying in the corner of Tapia? Oh, look, what would you be saying? Would you be saying do what you've been doing? Because it, it, so far it's been pretty successful. But no, I'd be throwing the first and more punch too, like that beautiful overhand right he just threw there. Got through well the right hand. Quinlan wore it well. And again, he just stutters forward. Body, body is not, body is not. Jab to the body from Tapia. Made him move left, move right, and threw no punches. We're still in there, so wait for pressure. Tapia looking for the opening. Countering well. Sit on it, sit on it. Fascinating fight up next. Two former world champions in Sakio Bicca. And Sam Solomon, Bicca, the former WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World, and Solomon, the former IBF Middleweight Champion of the World. They've fought twice before. Once many years ago, and once in the semi-finals of the American version of the Contender Series, Sakia went on to win the final against Jadon Codrington in that series and we get to see them make it a trilogy here in Newcastle tonight. So like in between here, Nick. Some highlights or... Come on. Yeah. Quinlan misses and he's pounded hard by Tapia. He wobbled, he walks back, but he certainly Red took one. that shot Let him go. Come on the back. Come from Tapia. Who took his opportunity. Tapia's been really, really patient. But being patient also being gives your, your, your opponent an opportunity to land punches on you. I just think that he should be busier. Land those punches in bunches and then, you know, get his opponent tired because he's not doing that at the moment. Yeah, it is a different performance to what we expected from Tapia. Maybe it is just all about the patience for him. He had his moment there. Heard his opponent briefly. Yeah, like I said, man, we go back to the corner, you're winning the round, and you know, if you want to do more, you're just happy to win the round. So we I'd like to do more. Than so, hey, nice and easy with that, yeah? Nice and easy with that. Set that trap well, right? Let's keep going, right? Come to close you. Don't tell you did there. That'll be the time to make the close, right? You want to go one, two. Hey. Come on, guys, come on, second down. Come on. Box. A return to action here, round number four. This one scheduled for ten. Damon will throw to Jake. You know, I don't think Tapp is lost to win at the moment. First one. Pretty, pretty close, but he could be an even, but nah, he's winning convincingly in, his, you know, in, in the last couple of rounds. Turn the left hand around there to Tapia. Quinlan stalking again, but still not throwing. And the counter shot when he did was fast from Tapia. I think Quinlan's starting to get a little bit frustrated. Can't find out many punches that are hitting Tapia at the moment. It's getting pretty frustrating there, stretching there. It's got to get closer to throw those punches. Tapia waiting for that frustration, you fancy, because he's been countering hard. Now he works hard and drops from Quinlan's right hand over the 
Top Six. sent him down. Seven. He bounces Eight. straight okay. back up. Okay, let me stop it. All right. But One. Tapia will press forward now to the body. His legs went straight from underneath him, and again he wobbles. A long time left in this fourth round, and Tapia pressing forward. No patience now. He's working. He's trying to get him out of there. A long time ago. Hooks and right hands, and John Couch, will stop the fight. It's over. It's over. It's over. And he's gone one better this time. A measured performance. But when he went, he went hard. I think it was a, a good stoppage by the referee as well. You don't need to take that punch. There was a, there was a minute, five seconds ago, when he was copying some, some big punches. Gentlemen, time for the official decision. Time, one minute, 48 seconds into the fourth round. Your referee, John Couchy, has called a stop to this contest, uh, awarding the victory in favour of your winner and new WBA Oceania Super Middleweight Champion from the Blue Corner, Mateo El Tijuanero. Tapia! Big win for Matteo Tapia. He's got his belt and he's got his applause as well. He's very happy and his chief sparring partner would be very happy.